Hello there, this is Ujwal and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn how to create or how to make these beautiful handmade paper flowers. You can use them on your scrapbooks, cards, tags, anything really and they're super easy to make. So let's get started. So I'm using the Floral Oriental Collection from Dress My Craft. This is 285 GSM and it's a specialty paper, specially for making handmade flowers and then the die I'm using is called the flower making die one it is a four petal flower die with five different sizes so I went ahead and die cut this just to you know die cut this ahead of time just to save some time on screen here so you can use any die cutting machine with this and uh, to add color to these flowers I'm going to use the archival inks today archival inks are permanent inks so when I use water on these flowers um, the ink is not going to fade away or not fade away as much as distress inks or any other inks so these are permanent inks they're water resistant and heat resistant so the color will not fade away uh, now you can see I'm just I'm not being too particular here about adding color because once we shape these flowers it won't really matter but I'm just going in with a very light hand and I'm using a sponge tower here to add some color to the edges I'm using uh, the pink color which is called the pink peony and uh, I'm adding a little bit to the center as well as well as to the back side of the flowers because the back side often shows when you are creating like dimensional you know flowers so I'm making sure that all of my sides and centers are covered and then I have a little bowl of, of water here and I'm going to dip my flowers in the water I'm just going to place them right in the water and do not worry about the paper because this paper is specially designed um, to, you know to go through this process and to take and to take the you know the water and this water is just going to make it more pliable and more easy to shape uh, it will just you know break down the hardness of the paper and you will be able to shape the flowers better and it will also be help us in you know uh, hardening the flowers um, a little more so uh, we are going to let it sit there in the bowl of water for some time so meanwhile I'm going to color the rest of the flowers as well for the rest of the flowers I'm using two shades of blue one is called sky blue and the other is called corn blue and then I'm adding some green to the centers as well uh, I'm going to link down these um, inks that I'm using uh, below in the description box so now I have I've taken out the flowers I'm just trying to dab off the excess water on a, a kitchen roll or a kitchen paper and I'm going to, you know, dip the rest of the flowers and let them sit in water for some time. So now I'm using this golf tool. This is the medium golf tool uh, and it has these grooves on the back side. And we are going to just go and start pulling the petal towards the center. Now this golf tool will not only shape the flowers but also leave these beautiful indentations the marks the lines on the petals which make the petals look um, very classy and now uh, ideally you should use a ball tool but i did not have it at hand so i'm just using the back side of a ballpoint pen to bring the petals all together and uh, achieve that beautiful flower shape and you can see I'm using the embossing mat here. This is also again available at uh, the Dress My Craft store uh, and also at the Craft Corner store. And this is also a very important tool to have at hand. Uh, it is absolutely necessary to uh, make flowers. Just makes that process so much easier. Once you have shaped the flowers, make sure you heat dry them or uh, use a heat gun to dry them. Uh, this will make the flowers really hard in texture and they will, you know, retain their shape. So uh, the other side of the golf, uh, golf groove tool is this sharp end, the sharp point, which can be used to poke holes in the center where we can, we are going to add our stamens and pollens and, you know, whatever we want to add as decoration. So I went ahead and did that for all the flowers and now I have some thread pollens as well as some wire pollens here which I'm going to add to the flowers. So for the wire pollens, uh, wire pollens I think will go well with the pink ones. I mean the thread pollens will go well with the pink ones and the pastel yellow ones will go great with the blue ones. So now just take a bunch of thread pollens, uh, fold them into half 
don't be shy use a good quantity because the pink flowers that we have made the bigger ones are really a good size and to make them look fuller you need good amount of uh, these pollens so just fold them in half twist the thread part so that you can you know put it through the flower there through the hole that we just made with our piercing tool so i'm just going to yeah just going to layer the flowers adjust them and you can see i've not uh, stuck down the two flowers yet i'm going to do that later with a glue gun to add more dimension uh, but i just wanted it to be flexible for now so that i can adjust it now to make it more secure i'm using this flower tape this is a self uh, adhesive tape uh, so the more you stretch and wrap it and press it it releases the adhesive and you don't need any other adhesive to use it so that is pretty cool and you can see how that flower looks there are two layers I've added two layers uh, you can again build the flowers however you wish you could add more layers bigger smaller uh, flowers together anything really now let's do the uh, one with the wire pollens again the same process just fold the pollens in half twist the uh, wire side and then just put it through the holes that we created using a piercing tool so this turns turns out really really easy and the pollen really adds that uh, you know uh, the touch to the flowers uh, and make them look really pretty so yeah i'm not again not adhering the two layers yet we'll do that later as a last step i decided to add some glitter because of course you know uh, these days nothing seems uh, finished or complete without glitter the dress my craft glitter is just absolutely stunning so i'm using a sponge and adding some uh, clear gel or soft matte gel to the edges with the sponge and then i'm going to dip the petals directly into the um, micro sparkling dust this is a very fine glitter it's very soft in nature not too shiny but you know it, it does the work just perfectly so I'm going to add that to the edges of all the flowers just apply some glue to the edges with a sponge and then just dip this uh, into the jar and you are all good to go and you'll see that I have some uh, glitter all over this craft sheet which is again from Dress My Craft and that it's so easy to just put it back together because this craft mat is just genius. So there you go, our flowers are ready. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and the close-up close photographs you can see how the glitter looks, how beautiful it makes the flowers and yeah, I had so much fun and I have a project coming up using these pretty soon on the dress my craft blog so keep an eye out and if you like my videos don't forget to you know subscribe to the channel share the videos and uh, like them just give a thumbs up so see you again soon and bye bye take care